Hi, how's it going? This is Resident of Color, which we YouTube here to review the 2021 movie Foxhole. I've been meaning to review this movie for some time. Um, there's a couple things I've been meaning to review for some time. <laughs> Just haven't got around to it. Um, you know, there's movies when you go into them, you're shocked and surprised by what they really are. And this is built as a war, mo uh, a war movie. Now, Sorry, war. I want to make sure I'm getting my words right. War, war movie. Um, it is, but it's not just a war movie. It's a generational movie. And what I mean by that is, you have. It's also a situational movie. So the generation thing. This starts off in the Civil War. Somebody makes a decision. They survive. They end up surviving it. Then the next is the is uh, World War I want to say two one or two, uh, and <laughs> I believe it's World War Two. I could be mistaken because they're a foxhole, and somebody makes a decision and something happens. And they get captured. Uh, then it's the Iraq War of two thousand four, and then a decision gets made, and it doesn't end so well. <laughs> um, Andy Matichek is in this movie. Uh, I will say this. Here's what I was most shocked by. You know, I was not expecting this movie to have a Twilight Zone feel to it. And I'm, I'm, proud, I'm proud to say and pleased to say it did. Uh, it's very, it, very Rod Serling. I would, I would dare say more Rod Serling than, than the new Twilight Zone was. And that's saying something. Um, it really had a good... It, it's a war movie, but it has a bit of a horror feel to it. it. It's not about horror. It has nothing to do with horror in a sense. But it gives you a very Twilight Zone feel with not just the black and white. There is black and white in this movie. I love how they use, the, uh, they use black and white a bit. But they also use close-up camera angles and the dialogue seems very very real um you know dialogue should make you dialogue should not make you laugh dialogue should make you go holy shit i could see somebody saying that and that's what this movie does best too um you're gonna hear me praise this one a lot it's really really good to me this is the best thing andy matichek has actually been in um and that includes the Halloween trilogy. I know people know I don't like that trilogy. But this here is the best thing she's been in so far. Um, really, really good. And I like how... And I said this movie's about decision making. It, it gives the... The audience... To look at how one decision could affect an entire group of people. And that is very Rod serling -esque too, as well. It's not just the camera work that's Rod serling -esque. It's the story itself and how they do this story. Because one guy wants to leave, and they just tell him to go ahead and go, get to get help, to go ahead. And because, again, it's during the Civil War, uh, the Confederates are coming, so they tell him to go. And they do go. And or he goes. And that decision does have an effect. I won't spoil it for you, but it, again, you should definitely go watch this movie. I still I do believe it's still on Tubi for free. It's really good. And then they go to I think it's World War One or World War Two. And again, both both events take place in a foxhole the situations and what you have here is twice the argument going on each time and it's not always the same argument of whether they're just to stay or go yes the the arguments ensue but there's multiple arguments each time which is really really good i think that's something the writers did a fantastic job and and the actors and actresses everybody here did a fabulous job again i love i love the movie it's really good i'm probably gonna pick it up on blu-ray at some point um it should get released on blu-ray better 
Um, and so they're arguing about the, you know, the Germans and stuff. And they actually capture a German soldier. And you find out the German so soldier could uh, speak English. And if you're, if you're wondering, well, is that possible? Actually, yes. Uh, there's a there's a real life event called the Battle of the Bulge, uh, where the Germans had English speaking troops uh, to go behind enemy lines uh, to to mix in with the Americans. So now with so they come across a German soldier who can speak English, which I. I like that because it gives a bit of a historical context as well, though this is a fictional story in the sense of fiction of fictional characters, you have sort of a real life nod to to certain aspects of, of the war. Um, because again, the Germans did have there was the Battle of the Bulge. Now this isn't taking place of the Battle of the Bulge, it just takes place before that. But it probably lets it gives you the the suggestion i don't i don't know if they were doing this on purpose or not they may have been i guess that would be my question to them was you know are they trying to you know suggest maybe that there were english speaking troops well before battle battle of the bulge which that's something many people have theorized anyway so i have no issue with it it's really a good scene and it's really a tense scene and he's saying that the germans are cutting through the wire and there's small gaps that they're getting through. No matter how much wire they lay, it's pointless. And the German, the the one of the American soldiers makes a decision, and it's not whether to just stay or go. He he stays, and so do the rest of them. And they end up getting captured anyway. The Iraq War is your final sequence. Now with this one, it's the last one's a lot different because. Not only is it in color, you have, because the first one was in color, by the way. Uh, the second one was in black and white. This one's in color. With this, you have an event of, it doesn't take place in a foxhole. It takes place in a, in a military vehicle. And so they sort of treat the vehicle like a foxhole. They're sort of dug into it because they're being, they're surrounded by enemy fire and there's a situation where they could be blown up. They they diffuse that situation, and there now there's a big arm, argument whether to stay or go because you have somebody who's also bleeding as well, um, who's in bad shape. So the commander makes this. This to me is my favorite part. The commander makes the omission of how bad instead of one decision because the, the last story. Most of the stories have been about one decision or another. This decision is about, this this last one is about a multitude of decisions that were already made that sort of have to leave up to their final decision. So the, mil, the, the leader, the comm leading commander of the group admits that he broke off from, from command, the, the command he he knew he was taking them the wrong way. He knew he he effed up, and he knows his decisions have led them down this road. And he knows the fi the next decision could be either their their final one or a moment of triumph. And it's really a heartfelt stance, a mission that he's making, because though you, you're sort of mad at the character for making this sort of decision. You applaud his onus because he he could he could have chose not to own it and he does. Um, really great acting in the movie all all around. Um, I highly recommend you go check out a, the 2021 movie Foxhole. Um, it's worth your time and it's a movie that really it, it jars you a bit because you're thinking about. Man, what if this were me? What if I had to make these decisions? Could I make the same ones, or would I make a different one? And it it sort of asks that question throughout the entire movie. What decision would you have made? Uh, not again, because you don't know the outcome of your own decisions until you make one. Um, which is again a great message and a great, really, really great intense movie. It's Fox. So again, I think it's the best thing Andy Matichek has been in. Um, 
Go check out the 2021 movie Foxhole. I do believe it's still on Tubi. So I think you guys will enjoy it. Have a nice day.